Every day we get lots of questions about puppy potty training on our YouTube videos and I feel that I spend a lot of time typing out replies that include the same two answers. Are you going through all the appropriate steps of puppy potty training but your day still includes this? Oh, gross. Oh, gross. That one's still warm. Gross. Well then you're probably missing two very important elements of puppy potty training that I'm going to teach you in this video so that your puppy very quickly understands the rules of the house and so that they stop having accidents indoors. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. We train over 500 dogs every single week at our training facility. So if this is your first time on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. The first element of puppy potty training that we need to talk about is supervision. Now you've heard me talk about supervision in other puppy potty training videos on our channel, but if you're doing everything else right and your puppy's still having accidents on the floor, then it's time that we get focused on giving them good information. For your puppy's sake, and for your sake. That means that even if you just had your puppy out for a pee, but they're still occasionally having accidents in the house, when you come back inside, you need to have your eyes on them 100% of the time. If you aren't able to supervise your puppy, then just put them in their crate. That way they can't sneak away and have an accident in the house without you knowing. Now I'm not talking about supervision like this, but I'm definitely not talking about supervision like this. But if you're supervising and still struggling, then it's time for the secret sauce. Now that you're monitoring your puppy really closely, you're going to see them if they start to have an accident. And it's your responsibility to give them the information that this kind of behavior isn't allowed. You need to mark that moment in time for your puppy. You need to use your voice with an ah or a hey to really let them know that at that moment, they're making a mistake. Use a sound or a word or something abrupt that will capture their attention immediately. And in some cases, it will even interrupt them midstream. Use something really short and sweet. You don't want to be speaking in full sentences to your puppy about how disappointed you are that this is the third time today that they peed on the floor. You have no idea how disappointed I am that this is the third time today that you peed on the floor. That's two days in a row and that's two days too many, if you know what I'm saying. I think the first time I really know so focus on making that negative verbal reprimand short and sweet. Now if your marker doesn't stop your puppy midstream, don't take them up and drag them to the door. You're just going to end up with a huge mess all the way out of your home. But if your puppy is interrupted by that verbal marker, then quickly take them up and carry them outside. Put them down in a place where you do want them to go pee. Once they finish their pee there, praise them. Let them know that this is the place that they are allowed to go. Giving your puppy clear information is the key to puppy training. And using this verbal marker while your puppy's having an accident indoors is the key to stopping those puppy potty training problems, especially if it's a routine that they've developed. If you got a question about puppy potty training, drop it in the comments below and make sure you check out that video next to me. It's all about the reasons that your puppy potty training isn't working. On that note, I'm Ken. I'll see you in the next video.